Hi guys, it's me Swastik and this is part 5 of how to make your own discord bot using python and in this video, like you guys suggested, I'll be covering error handling. So let's begin. So before handling errors, let's see the errors in action. So I'm gonna move to my server and I already have a command called kick. Now let's say I do not mention a member to kick. What's gonna happen is it's just gonna raise an error saying um, missing required argument and member is a required argument that is missing and let's say some other error happens like I try to kick someone and I do not provide their name properly so I just kick me I guess just for an example as you can see if I hit enter a uh, member me not found so another error that could happen is let's say I do not have the permissions to execute that command right now I demoted myself and if I try to kick uh, what's gonna happen is the error is gonna be missing permissions and I am missing this permission right so let's start um, let's handle the errors now now there are three ways I'm gonna show you three ways to handle the errors the first way is very simple now this uh, this way of handling errors is used in Python now it's not exclusive to discord.py which means that you can use this anywhere now to show you this I'm gonna go to my kick command and let's say in the last video in the in part 3 what happened was we tried to kick someone and their DMs were closed so what happened was we could not send them this message right and then it gave us an it raised an error saying that we, their DMs are closed and um, we, uh, and when an error is raised, what happens is it does not execute anything other than that. So it will just stop and it will not kick the member. So that's bad, right? We want the member to get kicked even if we can't send the DM. So what we'll do is uh, these keywords, so try and accept. I'm just going to make some space. Try and accept. Make sure you have indentation. So hit tab. There should be four spaces or one tab and for what happens now let me just explain this to you we will in this block everything in here in this indentation under try what's gonna happen is python is gonna go through this and try to execute that and if an error is raised it's gonna go to this accept block and let's say an error is raised we'll just simply say um, ctx dot send uh, the member the member uh, has their DMs closed okay now and then we kick the member as well so let's just save that and I'll run the bot again so let's turn my DMs off and I just did that let's hit done and let me just kick myself my alt and let's see if it works as you can see their DMs were closed and I got kicked now I did not get this message like today since obviously I had my DMs off so as you can see it worked now let's just see the second way of doing the let's see the second way of handling the errors so the second way of doing this is a an event called on command error so let me just write this part it's on command error so have these underscores and in the parentheses you will add ctx and the error so the ctx is the uh, is the context and the error is the is the error that has been given to us so when this event is one so anytime there is an error in a command this will be called so we don't want like you could have something like this saying await ctx dot send uh, an error occurred now you don't want to do that because you don't want to say that for every error that happens so let's just select some errors so the first error that I want to select is um, let's say missing permissions right so if what I'm gonna do is check if uh, the is instance now this is a function and there are two parameters in it so first it will be the error and then the error object from discord so the error object is commands dot error dot missing 
permissions so these errors will be uh, found like right here so if you wanna like if you want to get a specific error that's happening to you you can just look at the last line of your uh, console and just find this part which says missing permission so after errors just copy that and just paste it right there and this should be there so I spelled it correctly now what's gonna happen is let's just say if they don't have the permission to execute that command what I'll do is um, maybe let's say delete that message because you know, there's two things you could do you could either like say um, ctx.send um, you can't do that I'm just gonna do that as well let's just do that for now ctx.send uh, you can't do that and have that and let's just also delete the message so it's simply ctx dot message um, message dot delete so that we I don't know this is personal preference you can do whatever you want right here I'm just gonna be you could either DM them then you could also have that try function right uh, try uh, the try block and you could DM them I guess saying you can't do that it's your choice so I'm just gonna delete the message and say you can't do that let's also make uh, our I'm just gonna copy this for now because it's almost the same so copy it paste it now for elif now elif is something simply saying if we fail this what's gonna happen is it's gonna go and check this uh, condition now instead of missing permissions I'm gonna say um, missing argument right missing required argument I think that's the name that's a big one uh, if let's see if I have it in my docs uh, bad argument uh, missing required argument just copy that right paste that and say let's just say that uh, please enter all the arguments please enter please enter all the required arguments um, required arguments args I guess so and then also delete the message so these are the two things that we checking for now if you save that and cancel out of there and run I'll run the bot again I'll and I'll show the output to you so let's try to kick someone uh, even though I don't have the perms I'm just gonna kick the owner kick me and as you can see the bot said the bot deleted the message and said you can't do that and if I check the uh, if I check the logs as you can see no error now what's gonna happen is um, let me just check the other one as well that I'm just gonna give myself the permissions now and uh, kick uh, the kick no one as you can see please enter all the required arguments and that also works now there is one problem with this if um, any error occurs other than these ones it's gonna be ignored for example if I enter something like this right so this is not a command now what should happen is it should say command not found error but it does not display that now that happens because we what we are doing is simply saying uh, we just ignore that we completely ignore that and instead we just only check for these two so what you want to do is have an else statement else we want to raise that error we want to know we don't want to ignore that so we raise that error save that so this should let you know if you have any errors other than these ones so the third way does not work anymore so instead you can just use these two methods and you can handle most of the errors so hope you enjoyed the video if you did hit the like button and subscribe and also join my discord server and i'll meet you in the next video goodbye